All right, let's start with the big story that we're tracking on Vyond at this hour, where the police have detained a man in connection with a shooting at a synagogue outside of San Diego. Now, one person was reportedly killed and three others injured after a man suddenly opened fire at the synagogue. The San Diego County Sheriff has identified the suspect as a 19-year-old man named John Ernest. Is presently being questioned by the homicide detectives. Now, the gunman opened fire with an assault rifle. He fled from the scene in a car and was later arrested a little while after the shooting. Now, the investigators are also examining a manifesto that the gunman had left on social media along with other digital evidence. Well, as I stated before, there was a Border Patrol uh, officer off-duty uh, at, the, at the synagogue and as the uh, Ernst was leaving the facility, he obtained a weapon and engaged in gunfire and shot at Ernest. Uh, did not hit him, but there was uh, appears that he did make uh, uh, did put some uh, bullet holes in the car that Ernst was driving. Now, the police has not revealed the identities of the victims. Two adult males and also one juvenile female are said to be in a stable condition at the Palomar Medical Center. Now, an older woman who was shot at has reportedly succumbed to, the, to her injuries. Now, the shooting took place in the city of Powe on the last day of the Passover, which is a Jewish holiday. And it also comes six months after 11 people had been killed in a deadly shooting incident at the Pittsburgh synagogue. Meanwhile, U.S. President Donald Trump has expressed his deepest condolences and sympathies. At this moment, it looks like a hate crime. But my deepest sympathies to all of those affected, and we'll get to the bottom of it. It looks like the person was apprehended, no more danger, uh, and law enforcement's done a fantastic job.